In the past 50 years, scientists have discovered enough evidence in nature to support the existence of a previously undiscovered phenomenon that, despite resembling traditional tsunamis, may actually unleash unimaginable levels of havoc along coasts. The east coast of America, North Africa, and Europe face a grave threat from such a wave of enormous proportions that will likely be set off in the Atlantic Ocean at some point in the next 500 years. The term Mega Tsunami is used to describe these waves. They can travel at jet aircraft speeds, climb to heights of several hundred meters, and go up to 12 miles 20 kilometers inland thanks to their huge size. When a rock slide into the bay was sparked by a nearby earthquake, a large amount of water was abruptly displaced. A run up the vertical height that a wave travels up a slope of 524 meters above sea level was produced by the huge landslide tsunami which rose more than 160 meters in height. Consider a run-up that is around the height of the CN Tower in Toronto 553 meters or One World Trade Center in New York City 541 meters to get a sense of scale. Rock, soil, and water mixes that are large in size and have a high rate of movement to landslides, like the one that struck Literia Bay in 1958, particularly in mountainous coastal areas where steep slopes meet a fjord lake, or reservoir, landslides that strike bodies of water can cause waves to break. Despite the media's propensity for sensationalizing mega tsunamis, actual, scientifically verified catastrophes serve as the impetus for further investigation. A 7.8 magnitude earthquake that occurred in Lake July near Perryville, Alaska, prompted a tsunami warning for the southern part of Alaska, the Aleutian Islands, and the Alaskan Peninsula. The potential of a landslide and tsunami at a well-known fishing and tourist area close to the town of Whittier has also recently increased, according to geologists, as a result of retreating glacier in a fjord in Prince William Sound, Alaska. To learn more about these significant natural hazards, urgent international research activities are being conducted. This is extremely important since climate change may increase the frequency and intensity of these catastrophes. Another significant landslide of great size occurred in Alaska in 2015, this time possibly caused by an earthquake or more precipitation than usual. A 500-kilometer drive east of Anchorage was Tarn Fjord where this one was located. A magnitude 4.9 earthquake roughly equivalent to the explosive force of 340 tons of TNT, was recorded as a result of this extremely violent occurrence, which also released a tremendous quantity of energy. The force of the landslide's impact on the sea was so great that monitoring stations in the US and other countries picked up seismic signals. A wave with a run-up of 193 meters was produced by the impact. Thank goodness nobody was killed and the location is isolated. But the landslide that occurred in Greenland's Carrot Fjord in 2017 was fatal. At the impact site, a tsunami with a height of 90 meters was created. The village of Nuagaratsik was completely destroyed and four people perished as a result of the wave's 30 kilometers mile path. Recent years have seen significant landslide wave episodes in British Columbia and Norway. Aside from earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, undersea landslides are another mechanism that causes tsunamis. Huge underwater landslides that are known to contribute significantly to the maximum tsunami run-up can be caused by earthquakes. This happened when earthquakes rocked Japan in 2011 and New Zealand in 2016 resulting in a run-up of 40 meters and 7 meters, respectively, in each case. In the field, measuring large landslide tsunamis is challenging or impossible. Since they primarily occur in hilly areas with steep slopes, they are normally far from major cities. The run-up elevations or the deposits of trees and boulders that were swept down slopes following these occurrences, such as in Tarn Fjord, have been mapped by geologists in many of the cases. However, society is seriously endangered by these catastrophic disasters. What if a landslide causes a wave to overtop a dam and flow into a reservoir? 
Over 2,000 people who resided downstream perished as a result of this in Vahot, Italy, in 1963. Apart from the recent, here's some of the notorious mega tsunamis in the past. Is Toriga slides 6,225 to 6,170 BC. It is thought that an enormous underwater landslide that was set off by an earthquake off the coast of Norway is what generated this mega tsunami. It is estimated that the ensuing wave, which struck Scotland and the Faroe Islands, was 83 feet 25 meters high. It is one of the biggest and oldest mega tsunami ever recorded. Minoan eruption 1600 BC. This mega tsunami, which may have reached heights of up to 100 feet 30 meters, is thought to have been brought on by a meteor impact in the Mediterranean Sea. It is thought to have devastated Minoan culture and devastated the beaches of Sicily, Crete, and the Greek mine land. Jogan 869. On July 8, 869, a powerful earthquake and tsunami known as the 869 Jogan quake and tsunami devastated the area around Sendai, Japan. It is believed to have had an estimated magnitude of 8.2, with a maximum tsunami wave height of up to 33 feet 10 meters, making it one of the biggest earthquakes in recorded Japanese history. A thousand to ten thousand people are thought to have died as a result of the earthquake and tsunami which also significantly damaged the area. It is critical to comprehend how waves are produced by landslides. These waves can be better understood through experimental experiments. Empirical formulas to forecast the size of tsunamis from landslides have been developed as a result of laboratory studies. The controls of the landslide qualities on the creation of waves are being determined by recent research that included precise observations utilizing high-speed digital cameras. The theoretical understanding of how landslides transfer momentum to water and produce waves has been improved as a result of new research at Queen's University. The thickness and velocity of the slide at impact both affect the wave size. Now that their shape and amplitude the distance from the wave's base to its peak can be predicted. Computer models for wave propagation and comprehensive simulations of landslide wave generation can be utilized to generate waves in landslides. The behavior of waves in coastal environments may be better understood and predicted using these models, both on a small scale in the lab and a large scale in the field. Eight confirmed instances of huge landslides producing waves taller than 30 meters since 1900 are known as massive wave events. Over 100 people died in Norway in the 1930s as a result of two of these. Four of these eight significant occurrences took place after the year 2000. Other occurrences, though, have caused smaller waves that have wreaked havoc on more populated coastlines. For instance, the eruption of an Krakatau in 2018 resulted in a tsunami that wreaked havoc on Indonesia's coastline, killing over 400 people and destroying a significant amount of infrastructure. Are there going to be more of these occurrences in the future? The frequency and severity of these natural disasters may change as a result of climate change. The environmental conditions of the north and the mountains will undoubtedly change in numerous ways as a result of global warming permafrost thawing, retreating glaciers, iceberg carving, more frequent freeze-thaw cycles, higher rainfall, and other hydraulic triggers can all be examples of this. All of these factors raise the possibility of a significant landslide into water and destabilize rock slopes. Although these natural disasters cannot be completely avoided, damage to populations and infrastructure can be limited. This can be accomplished by using engineering risk assessments particular to a site, scientific understanding of physical processes, and coastal management in hazard-prone areas. And that ends today's episode. Please subscribe to Weather Collapse if you want to know more and be updated on the latest news about natural calamities or disasters happening all over the world. And don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.